Hey guys, this is Lost Arcadian. Um, this video is going to be a tutorial, and it's going to be a little different than what you might be used to um, in other YouTube videos. I'm going to introduce a couple concepts, a couple very basic concepts in building, and then I'm going to let you do what you want with it. I'm going to let you take it and apply it to your builds so you can make them better. I'm not going to do a block by block tutorial because while those are a lot of fun and I'm really cool to watch on uh, YouTube because it shows off skills, I don't think it really encourages creativity and individuality. A lot of times if you go on a server you'll see the exact building that you saw on YouTube made by somebody else who it wasn't their original design. So this way hopefully I can give you the information to create your own original designs and to have a little more fun doing it because it's just you, you know? So, um, let's go ahead and get started. So guys, the first concept I want to introduce is variance. Um, variance is simply having variety in your builds. So you can do that in many ways using different blocks, um, different techniques. Um, all of that creates variety. But the first thing I want to introduce is the nine block rule. As you can see, I have my hotbar up and I have nine blocks in it and those are also selected specifically for a tower build that I'm going to do here in a minute. Um, so the nine block rule basically is just me telling you that you need to before you build select nine blocks that you want to use for this building and then make yourself use those nine blocks. Um, you gotta use those nine blocks as a starting point. Okay, You can change it as you get better. You can have less, more. Um, but to start, you want to try to use nine blocks because that'll force you to add variety into your builds. Even if it doesn't look pretty at first, you'll get better. You'll start to learn what you like and what you don't like. Um, another thing to help variance is randomization. I didn't come up with this concept, but um, so, uh, I've seen it a bunch of different times on YouTube. Here, look at these uh, flying buttresses here, which is, are these supports on the side of this building. Um, you can see I didn't just use cobblestone. I used regular stone, gravel. Um, I used some upside down stairs and stuff to create it, make it look like there were gaps in the wall. Um, it's not a concept I came up with again, but um, it adds something. It makes them look older. It makes them look less just generic, you know? So I, I don't use it often, but I use it on stuff like that because I couldn't do anything else to the flying buttresses. I couldn't add wooden supports because it just be wrong. Um, so there you go. That's an example of randomization. Um, the second concept I want to talk about is space. Um, uh, there are two types of space, positive and negative. And negative space would be if you had a blank piece of paper and you're about to do a drawing. If it was completely white, that is negative space. Okay. And then positive space would be after you filled it up, all the stuff you drew was the positive space. Now we want to start thinking like an artist. Okay. Um, I want you to take this cobblestone wall and imagine it as your canvas. You're the artist and this is your canvas. Now we gotta fill it up. It, right now it's just a blank piece of paper because it's only cobblestone. We gotta break it up. We're gonna do that by using some variety. Here I'm uh, gonna create a support beam, a central support beam for the tower. Um, kind of makes sense if you think about it in actuality but it also the main the main effect is this here the um, it gets to break up the cobblestone that's the main thing we're really going for so come come back down to ground level here the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna think about depth um, we're gonna use these stone bricks to add that depth but also it adds a nice support to the wall so it's functional as well um, I'm going to drop back down. I'm going to put stone bricks in these gaps because I think the dirt looks a little janky. Plus, on top of that, we're going to utilize stone brick stairs. Next, we're going to um, use some cobblestone walls. And I like that because you can still see the wood through the cracks in the cobblestone walls. But it also, once again, breaks it up. Next, we're going to cap off these cobblestone walls with the slabs. And like I said earlier, anything I do here, I, I don't want you to copy it. I want you, I mean, you can, that's perfectly okay, <clears throat> but I think it'd be really cool and you'd probably enjoy it more if you kind of came up with your own thing. When I initially did this, the when I did this the first time, um, I was just kind of goofing around. I, I, I didn't 
have any thoughts really. I just kind of messed around until it came out to something that I liked, and I think that was a lot of fun. So um, maybe try that. You can see I added more cobblestone walls here, so it wasn't so generic with the cobblestone bricks. Uh, I'm gonna go up here to the top. I think this looks a little bad, a little jank. Um, so I'm gonna take this and make it stone bricks instead. It just makes it look more powerful. It makes it look like the castle actually has some wealth, I guess. So it's not all just cobblestone. It, it's a little prettier too. Um, drop down just a little bit. We're going to add more to these crenellations here that I've created. Um, to And to make them look more like they're supported by the tower, add in those upside down stairs more cobblestone walls just simply to cover up the logs and um, that's basically it I could do the other sides but you understand um, the main idea um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple finishing touches to the top of this tower and I think I'll be done so add a nice if you don't like the look of the wood you can add a nice little row of slabs there also you can uh, include some wooden planks up here or wooden slabs whichever you want to use um, to give your archers a place to stand on top of the tower that's a cool little touch too um, so I hope you've learned something in today's tutorial I hope you've enjoyed it even if you already knew everything I said um, I would appreciate any comments any likes any subscriptions especially comments though because this is I'm still pretty early in the YouTube stages and I need any help I can get so I hope you enjoyed it and I guess this is bye see ya